Goodbye 2020. This is the Armory Auction bringing in 2021 with a new video. This will be our January 16th, 2021 sale. Hope you can join us. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Let's get started. Well, welcome back. This is Thomas with the Armory Auction. We appreciate you looking at our video today. My wife kind of gave me an idea that we need to look at a few items so that it'll entice you to go to the web page and my opinion is that if i walk through and show you the entire sale then maybe you'll see something that you'd like to go bid on at the website so if you comment down below which you'd rather do a brief walkthrough or entire walkthrough i certainly will take that to heart um, if you ever do want to go to the website it's armory-auction.com and the bidding is up for the Saturday, January 16th sale and Monday, January 18th sale. So with that being said, let's get to it. Well, I'm going to do a voiceover for some of the items in the sale here. There's a gas heater that we use in the auction house and it's pretty loud and there's a lot of background noises. The floor creaks. I shuffle my feet. My wife's told me to try to quit that, but uh, anyway. This suffrage statue, I found a comp for, and it sold for $499. Just thought you might like to see that information. Assorted statues, M&M dispenser, bookends. Nice little lock box. And this is a very nice glass and wooden display shelf. It has a $20 reserve on it, but it's very nice, very good condition. Race track. Little alien jumpsuit for a child. Here you have a lot of new inbox items. Just to say that everything at the auction starts at $3 unless it has reserve. You'll see that on high bid if you go to the site at armory-auction.com. Still new in box items. That nice little bird feeder stand. Star Trek tumblers. Made in Japan, hobo cookie jar in excellent condition. King frog teapot. Costume jewelry in a depression glass plate. Cookbooks.
Linux cat. Now these birds, these are hand painted and carved. I found a comp for these as well. They sold for $49. Just a little bit more information for you. More costume jewelry. Ship model. Nesting dolls. That's a very large milk glass hen on nest. More costume jewelry. Now this display does not go with it, but it displays nicely. Carnival glass hen on nest. Nice hand-painted little coffee set made in Japan. Assorted planners. Decoy. There's a Waterford fish there. Some book banks. Nice candle lantern, cast iron. Megalodon shark's teeth, bits, parts. Diary of a Madman, Ozzy Osbourne LP. Old transistor radio. Milk bottles. This nice native rug. Eagles. Lion head handled brass planter. It's really neat anchor shaped bell Milk glass rolling pin now these are nice the victorian bin poles Found a comp for these. There were 10 in this lot that sold for $119. There's only seven here, so you be the judge. Soldiers. Now that's a Marlin 22 rifle. It's missing the bolt, so you need to do a little repair work on that. Nice old metal lunchbox with thermos, if I can get it open. Perfume, signed baseballs, vintage toy, needs a little TLC, depression glass, old bottles, Mikasa crystal, a jadeite bowl, Pioneer 8-track player, typeset, Black Americana, Plush dolls and baskets, rocks and minerals, wrestlers, action figurines.
Nice vending machine. Has a $20 reserve on it. More Mikasa crystal. Pioneer cassette player. Some baseballs and cards. Gourds. Decorative gourds. Diecast cars. Nice wicker form. Propane tank. Star candle light. Craftsman drill press. It has a $50 reserve on it. Nice old stroller, just missing the handles. Princess Diana stamps. Ladies gloves. This is a rare little angel with the box. Hammer and nail pin set. Nice marble sphere. Die cast VW. Now this is a looks like an overshot whiskey barrel with some shot glasses. I, I did find a few comps. I didn't find this exact one. Uh, about $24 or so. Nice vintage bar lamp. Little carnival glass condiment dish. Cut crystal with amber panels, vases, mid-century light fixture shade. A B and G porcelain vase that I just about bought, and some Meissen salad plates marked on the bottom, of course. Sterling candle holders. This is a nice Indian brass flatware set. It has a twenty-five dollar reserve on it. Potato sacks, nice advertisement pieces. Some vintage taps, yearbooks coming up. Well, that's the next item. Renwall, Visible Man model. There are your taps, yearbooks. Little art glass nappy. Butterfly. Finial lidded carnival glass dish. Nice assortment of china. One of those fish ceramic plates has a small chip to it. This is a copper stamped artwork piece with the artist signature in the left corner. Here's another comp that I have for you, a nice cut crystal pitcher. And I believe they range anywhere from 50 to a little over $100 for varying types of cut crystal pitchers. Two Colombian yearbooks. Swank cufflinks. Tie pen. There's some Christmas dinnerware here that the rest of it not separated. It's lot number 917, but we will sell those two lots together. And here you have four vintage comic books, Iron Man, Thor, Fantastic Four, Avengers. If 
fish plates. That's a nice studio pottery fish pitcher in the back there. It's an interesting little barrel pit uh, stool. Looks like a bird cage. Some vintage Valentine cards. Nice little owl bottle opener. This is a very lovely little half round mini display case. It's maybe three feet tall, two and a half, three feet tall. From here we go to the case where we sell jewelry, coins, currency, stamps, baseball cards. And it's just an assortment. If you go to the website, armory-auction.com, you can certainly find out what uh, coins we have in the case. We have Morgan dollars, Peace dollars, Barber, coins, and so forth. Nice stacking jar, Cadillac logo, crystal mugs, some mid-century tumblers. It's like a wagon wheel hub floor lamp. Industrial desk lamp, little brass koi fish, sterling weighted bud vase, rolled rim, depression glass bowl. That is a nice little model. It's got a partial, uh, the motor's been partially put together already, but all the pieces look to be in there. This little corn ceramic casserole dish has a little chipping around the edge of the rim. Nice Caprice silver overlay dish. Southern Pottery's hand-painted leaf dish. Those are Gibson hand-painted wine glasses. Gottinger plates, nice little sailboat in the back. Stein. Little skyline canvas print. I'm not familiar with this mark on the base. I think it's more contemporary, but it's a nice blue transfer wear platter. Arca Rock swirl pattern mugs.
cast iron truck. You have some hand painted tiles of bullfighting scenes. They're framed in a nice wrought iron metal. I found some comps for these as well. Syracuse restaurant wear plates. Nice German mustache cup. Georgia O'Keeffe illustrated book. It's a really nice book. Lace spread. Retired Vera Bradley purse. I love you a bushel and a peck, metal sign. And some more costume jewelry. Eddie Bauer backpack. Mid century terrarium. It's practically brand new purse. Old chamber pot. Tom Clark gnome. And here you have a Cirque du Soleil retired figure. It doesn't have the box, but I did find a couple of comps. It does have a $10 reserve on it. Polish pottery. Nice mid-century condiment server. That's a Blinko jug. It's a nice monkey ball candle. It's a heavy pottery pitcher. Butter churn. The lid has some issues. But at $3. Audubon bird prints. It's a nice assortment in there. Gamecock purse. Nice little driver set. These are Royal Dalton. 
cups, mugs, and saucers. Early American pattern glass pitcher. Some nice fashion prints. That's a different type of fashion. Coin sorter. Jim Harrison sign prints. Assorted planners. Watermelon boy. Concrete yard art. And a wrought iron Victorian floor lamp. Nice new toboggans. And these are Apex shoes. They're actually made specifically for an individual. And the way we get these shoes is, is that they didn't necessarily fit, but they're still the same size. I did a few comps on this. this these are not sold comps. These are just comps that were for, for sale. Um, but uh, all these shoes are practically brand new. Might have been fitted one time with a customer. Nice bronze style Asian lamp. Wonder Woman comic books. Chromolithograph prints. There's a, maybe 10 or 12 in there. Has a $50 reserve on it. Nice Asian artwork. Courier knives. Calendar prints. Now, my seller says these are English. It's a little tea for two set. You have the creamer and the uh, teapot. I could only find comps for Hall tea for two sets. They weren't selling for a lot, but here are two comps. The bad part is, is the tray for this English tea for two has been repaired. Missing the battery compartment. And then these are Goble, and she's missing the whole backside of her skis. I would not have put those out, folks, if I had known that. There's fun time, a bull whip. Finish playing cards. Nice his and her watch set. Carnival glass divided serving tray egg dish. Now this item I did a comp on, but there again, I didn't look at the description before I started taking pictures. The handle has a repair or a hairline on it. Uh, these comps are for pieces that are in good shape. And one has, one of the comps has mugs with it. Nice oil painting.
some dirty golf balls. Here you have some depression glass, a bowl and a plate. I keep coming back to this handle on the bowl. It's got a chip on it. As noted in the description. Those are anatomically correct frogs. His and hers. Very large Asian face. Rosie O'Donnell doll in the box, which is a little damaged. Those are glass rods. Nice set of assorted china. This is a nice old small storage box. It has a drawer on one end of it. Elvis is in the building. Some glass ornaments. LPGA golf decal coasters. You have some McCoy up there, a hall pitcher, hull planner. There's another refrigerator pitcher, another hull piece with a little damage, watt pottery pitcher and bowl. Some Lennox porcelain figurines, uh, elephant and dolphin. It's a new unopened ESPN game, trivia game. Another native rug with fish, seal meal. Hand warmers. This is a little Italian dish. It's uh, it's almost like a portrait plate. I found some comps on this, but this one actually has a chip on the edge. But the only comps I could find were some figurines and a portrait plate. Uh, it's a little different. There's just some similarities in the company. Some nice ceramic mold Asian figurines. Here's you a Polaroid Land Camera 150. Found some comps for this as well.
yellow submarine beetles figurine. Some costume jewelry. These are new in package witchblade figurines. These are limited edition Walgreens mugs. The lighting on the shelf sometimes is pretty dark, so I apologize for that. Nice ceramic molds for Gamecock logo. There's a large sword, it has a $20 reserve on it. This is a South Carolina one quart dispensary bottle. It does have a reserve, but I did get some comps. Rolling Stones, another South Carolina dispensary bottle with a reserve. Vintage Comics. Nice boat model. Dated 1800s drawing, Spider-Man comics. Here's three little Fenton pieces, a Burmese piece, art glass cat. Most seem to be hand painted. Sterling. Game bird tumblers with uh, mallard glass stir sticks. Here's another nice Asian ginger jar to the left of this engraving. I have a couple of comps for this. No reserve, $3 start and go. Here is a Reco cut. It is a huge piece of equipment, has not been tested. Uh, it does have a $250 reserve on it. I do have a comp on this, uh, and there are many different kind of comps depending on if it has the arm, speaker, um, you do some research yourself, it, uh, you'll find they, they sell for pretty good money. Two elegant glass platters. Nice Pepsi Bicentennial tray. Carboy. Nice to put your change in. There's a canopy for a bed and a little girl's dress and two fur coats.
and another native rug behind the fur coats. This is an unusual lamp. Small display case. Beatles records. Three albums there. Two Rolling Stones LPs. And here we have the Michelin lighted sign. It does work. It does have a $100 reserve on it, and that $100 reserve has already been met. But here are a couple of comps. And this is the, uh, the Christmas dinnerware that was separated from the first lot that will be sold together. It's an unusually large lure display. Nice primitive box. Character mugs. Nice art, art Deco trinket box, children's books, and there are tubes in every one of those boxes. More children's books. Looks like an unopened game, and then you have a model playing graveyard. Some old flash bulbs. Garnet and Black Yearbook. LED lights. Nice little tea set with sugar and creamer. Nestle glass mugs. This is a nice little set. I found two comps, $50 each for the uh, letter opener, magnifier, and bell. The bell has three religious verses on it. It's 23 pieces of sandwich pattern glassware. Apex shoes. Foreign coin lot. Little souvenir leather fan. New doll furniture. sewing basket HP laptop has been untested it has not been tested toy car enamelware pan costume jewelry more doll furniture cast iron tree stand nice child's roll top desk nice chest of drawers clockwork orange Stanley Kubrick interesting film
old timer pocket knife. I have a lot of die cast cars in this sale. Doctor Strange comics. Michael Jackson poster in that tube. George and Martha Washington lamps have a $10 reserve. Metal display. Really neat acrylic kitchen chairs and two metal frame chairs. Gas heater. Large hanging light fixture. That has a $25 reserve. Antique Singer sewing machine. It's a nice stainless work table. Looks like someone did some welding on it. Large Kingsford charcoal grill in very good condition. An old dry sink. Soft drink canisters. A lovely little mirrored cabinet. Large piece of glass. We have two chalkware birds of paradise. I did find a comp on this one. A little different color, but they're the same birds. Sewing basket with accessories. Very large paper cutter. That's a neat little weather vane style clock. Egyptian scarf. Some Vera Bradley purses. Small secretary. And here you have four rolled up movie posters.
fiesta. Red transfer wear, dinner wear, I believe it's Churchill. Hand painted plaques. That was a neat needlework framed. And here's a Donald Duck wristwatch. And this was a die cast Plymouth Superbird, I believe. I did find a comp on this as well. The two, well, there was Two that I found that were in the box. This was out of the box. case knife. Fish basket. Nice pitcher and tumbler set. Elephant planner. This is glass, sculpted piece of glass, vase. And this is neat, a little plasma lamp, Buddha. <laughs> That's it, oh, it does work. And this sells pretty regularly in the 35 to $50 range. Nice marble lamp. And here you have some aluminum cups and the spaghetti mid-century tumblers. One of them has a crack, but they're all going together, so shouldn't be too bad for $3. Nice crystal nutcracker candle holders. Toll painted light lamps. Little set of Corel 
It has a $10 reserve. Sadly, that little cast iron piece had a piece fall off. Here's a little faux crocodile travel case. I did find a comp for this as well. It's in very good condition. That's a 10 by 10, excuse me, 10 by 20 party tent. Easel. And then you have some brand new curtain rods. Those are struts and shocks, all brand new. Nice bark basket. Pink enamel pan. tractor seat and this is a form display I have a comp for this it has a ten dollar reserve That is a steamer cleaner. It has a $10 reserve and a Poulan weed eater with two other attachments. It also has a $25 reserve. Two more dress form or form displays with $10 reserves. We are getting towards the end of the sale here, and I will end my little voiceover because I do have a little bit of an end recording. But again, we are at armory-auction.com. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe because we will be doing more content. Hopefully, it'll get better as we go along, and maybe I can make it a little quicker. But um, anyway... I thank you.
Well, that was the end of the Saturday sale, January 16th, 2021 sale. We appreciate you uh, coming along with us and looking at the items. If you have any questions, please email us at armoryauction at gmail.com. And our website is armory-auction.com to go bid. And if you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe if you want more content because we'll try to do this every sale. And I'm trying to maybe put together a top 10 s items that sell at the end of the uh, each sale. So uh, keep a lookout for those. Have a nice day.